everyone. I hope everyone is keeping well at home. I am Sanvi Devi of class 7A and today I am here to speak a few lines on We Shall Overcome. The French philosopher Gustave Le Bon once wrote, The only religion of mankind is and always has been hope. Yes, we shall and we have to overcome the pandemic COVID-19. Coronavirus is wrapping the world like a sheet and it is trying its best to grip our country. COVID-19, like a terrorist, is attacking humanity. But we cannot remain calm. We need to retaliate. But our retaliation is not through weapons, but through the use of the mantras, lockdown, social distancing, quarantine, and sanitizing. The recent days and weeks has taken us backwards. The busy schedule of the morning and everyone rushing to one's destination is no more. Like every coin has two sides, the present situation also has two sides. We are aware of the dark side and the bright side too. Mother Earth is healing herself. Above all, healthy habits, preventive measures, meditation, good eating habits, and all Indian cultures and ethics can lead us the way. In fact, we are as a nation is a torch bearer. Human trials for vaccines have started and very soon we will have a remedy. Now, let us recall the five basic points we have been hearing everywhere. Wash our hands frequently with soap or any alcohol-based sanitizer. Avoid touching our eyes, nose or mouth with unwashed hands. Avoid close contact with people who are unwell. Cover our eyes, nose and mouth while coughing or sneezing. And avoid public gatherings. Come, let us stand together as an individual, as a society, as a state, as a nation, as a world, and above all, as humans. Let our Mother Earth breed peace and contentment. Together, we can and we shall overcome COVID-19. At last, I would like to conclude my speech thanking Father Principal for giving us all this wonderful opportunity. Thank you.